worthy of global positioning. That's the whole point. Get off the grid, right? Uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine. I uh, and not that she was a big stoner. It was more just a an, a kind of energy and enthusiasm and something about. I think you know stoners. I think sometimes are, are when people are stoned. I can't believe this is <laughs> what we're talking about. But uh, you know sometimes they they are thinking one thing and 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 saying another, or that sometimes their thoughts don't exactly me- measure up with what they say, or they change their train of thought mid sentence, and so you kind of get a jumbled sort of words and ideas and Marty's pretty coherent but I kind of I kind of like that energy and that kind of um the, the the kind of a fragmented sort of frame of mind and so I used a lot of that which reminded me of an ex-girlfriend of mine although I love her dearly I, and maybe it was my way of, of dealing with missing her you know make her a part of the character <laughs> oh, this is awesome whoa I have had that that scream my whole life, and I would play in the backyard sometimes, and my mom would come running out of the house, like, thinking that I was being kidnapped or that something horrible had happened, and I would just be playing, but I always kind of love to scream. What does that do to your voice? Uh, It doesn't really mess my voice up too much. There was one day that we were shooting that I had to scream a lot and for a really long period of time, and over and over and over again, and the next day I sounded really hoarse, but it doesn't really... It doesn't really mess my voice up too much. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> the lambs have passed through the gate. They are come to the killing floor. Let's get this party started! I seriously believe something weird is going on. But yeah, so I at lunch I got you know I went for a little run and wanted to sort of work up a sweat and just dive right off the dock into the lake. And as I was running through these trails, I ran right into a black bear. And, but it was kind of it was odd because I was filming a movie and my first instinct was, oh, you, what are you doing? Get back to base camp. This is a movie bear. You know, move along. You know, and then, uh, but there, yeah, part of me was like, oh, it's a guy in a bear suit. Like I just was not afraid. I just did not realize what in, what the real situation was and the reality was. And then when it hit me, I was complete, you know, wuss. I, I think you're supposed to be big and what and whatnot in a bear. Stand stand your ground. And I just ran. And one of the guys on set doing behind the scenes camera work you know he saw me running and I was like bear bear and he just ran towards it with his camera and I was like that's how men behave I guess yeah